I'm here in London with this special double decker tour bus. But it looks like something's missing from this bus. Wow! Look at that! There's no roof on this bus. I can see everything up here. There's loads of tall buildings to see in London. And because there's no silly roof in the way, you can see right up to the sky. Every year, around a million people from all over the world come to London and take a sightseeing tour with the original tour company. Each bus has its own tour guide who teaches the passengers all about special places in London and about the history of this amazing city. Today, we're going to go on a London sightseeing tour of our own. Come on, Gecko, hop aboard. Glenn is the driver of this bus, and he makes sure he drives as smoothly as possible around the London streets. Right, Gecko, would you like a job? Ooh, what sort of job? We need a tour guide. and gentlemen, boys and girls, I am your tour guide for today and together we're going to visit the amazing sights of London. London is the capital city of the United Kingdom and the city grew around the river that goes right through the middle of it. This river is called the River Thames. And today, our bus is going to cross the river on some famous bridges. Ooh! Look at this amazing palace! It looks a bit like my house, but my garage is a bit bigger. This is Buckingham Palace. Does anybody know who lives here? I'll give you a clue. Her name is Elizabeth and she's been the ruler of England for over 60 years. It's my old friend, the Queen of England. Let's go and have a cup of tea. Hello, we're here to see the Queen. Uh, hello, Queen. Queen. Queenie. Queen! Queen! I don't think she's in. Queen! Never mind. Let's visit our next London location. Wow! This is probably the most famous clock in the world. This is Big Ben. And it's been bonging and telling the time for over 150 years. It's actually the bell inside the clock tower that's called Big Ben. The clock tower itself is called the Elizabeth Tower, named after my friend, Queen Elizabeth. Just next door to Big Ben are the Houses of Parliament. They're some of the most important buildings in the United Kingdom. It's where the main decisions are made on how to run the country. I just love being able to see everything from this open top tour bus. I'm just glad it isn't raining though. What's this? It looks like a giant fairground ride. Ah, this is called the London Eye and it's one of the biggest observation wheels in the world. It goes around very slowly. But well, that's so you can get a proper view of everything around you. We're about to go over a very famous bridge. You've probably heard a song about it. I hope the song doesn't come true. It goes something like this. 
London Bridge is falling down, falling down, falling down. London Bridge is falling down, my fair lady. Build it up with silver and gold, silver and gold, silver and gold. Build it up with silver and gold, my fair lady. Phew, we made it. We're now on our way towards the tallest building, not just in London, but in the whole of Western Europe. Wow! It looks like it's touching the sky. That must be why they call it a skyscraper. The Shard has 95 floors, and there are 44 super fast lifts inside, some of which are double decker, a bit like this bus. Here's one more bridge. This one's called Tower Bridge, and it has two towers at each side. Amazingly, the middle part of the bridge can be lifted to allow ships to pass underneath. And here's the Tower of London. Lots of prisoners have been kept at the tower through history. There's no prisoners in there now, but this is where the crown jewels are kept. These are the very precious jewels that the Queen wears on special occasions. Now it's back along the embankment towards Westminster. We turn right at the Houses of Parliament and come past Downing Street, which is where another one of my friends lives, the Prime Minister. Let's pop in and say hello. They live around here somewhere. Ah, this is the one. Number 10 Downing Street. Prime Minister! Primey! Prime Minister! Oh dear, they must be out as well. I guess they must be very busy running the country. Oh well, back on the bus. We're now passing Trafalgar Square. The tall statue is called Nelson's Column. It was built to remember the hero, Admiral Horatio Nelson. And this is Piccadilly Circus. Before you get too excited, this isn't a real circus. The name Piccadilly Circus comes from the fact there used to be a big circular roundabout here. What a shame there aren't any clowns, tightrope walkers or trapeze artists here. double-decker bus has been transformed into a soft play party bus. This is Paul and he's the driver of the bus. He drives to lots of different places for children's birthday parties. You can have a party anywhere. Here comes the bright yellow party bus now. Welcome aboard the party bus. There are two floors on this bus, a downstairs and an upstairs. Let's climb the stairs and take a look upstairs first. Whoa, it's so much fun up here. There's a tunnel, a rope bridge, These are called biffers and bashers. Hey, Red Mechanical, how did you get in here? Red Mechanical never misses a party. To get down, we can either go back down the stairs, or we can go down the mega green slide. Go on, Red, you can test it out. Woo! When you come down the green slide, you land in a colourful ball pool. Look, Red Mechanical is holding a green ball. This is an orange ball. And here's a purple ball. The fun doesn't stop there. Downstairs, 
there's more places to run around and climb. Paul's getting the bus ready for a party, so it's time to connect the bus to a generator. A generator is something that uses fuel to generate electricity. That means Paul can turn the disco lights and music on in the bus. Here come the kiddies now, ready to party. Put your shoes in there for me, please. You okay? Running round the play bus, everyone's very hungry, so it's time for some party food. These tables upstairs are just right for enjoying some sandwiches. Paul places yellow paper plates on the table. One, two, three, four, and again, one, two, three, Four yellow paper plates. Now Paul is placing down orange drinks. One, two, three, four. And they need red straws. One, two, three, four. Four red straws. Yum, yum. Before everyone leaves, there's one last thing to do. Give out the party bags. We can't have a party without party bags. Whoa, look at that! That isn't just any bus. That's a double-decker bus. Look, there's a downstairs and an upstairs. I'm just waiting at a bus stop for the next bus to arrive. All you have to do to catch a bus is put your hand out like this and the bus will stop. This is Brian and he's the driver of this bus. He sits in a place called the cab. Here it comes now. Brian presses the red button and the doors fold open. This bus is special because it can move up and down to let people get on more easily. Red Mechanical, where have you been on this bus? You've been playing in the junkyard? Oh well, I hope you had fun. Come on, let's get on board. You can fit up to 75 people on this double-decker bus. I think I'm going to sit upstairs to see the lovely views. Woohoo! I can see everything up here. The wheels on the bus go round and round. Round and round, round and round The wheels on the bus go round and round All day long Here we are back at the bus depot I'll just press the bell to ask the driver to stop Shall we have a closer look at the controls here in the cab? The driver can press all sorts of buttons to make things happen. This button controls the sign on the front of the bus, 
which tells people where the bus is going to. This is the ticket machine. And these screens are connected to cameras, so the driver can see the passengers upstairs. These buses travel all over the city, so they sometimes get very dirty. Shall we put this double-decker bus through the special bus wash to give it a clean? It's time to use the water and brushes to clean our double-decker buses. Through this truck wash, our bus will crawl. Have you ever seen a bus so tall? Look at that! Clean as a whistle. Where do you think the engine is in this double-decker bus? Surprise! It's here, right at the back. And these buses are special because they run on electricity and diesel. When the bus is going slowly and picking up people from bus stops, the bus uses an electric motor. This makes it much quieter than other buses. Just be careful not to fall asleep on your way home. But even these buses need to be repaired sometimes. Instead of bringing them to Gecko's garage, they're brought here, to the Arriva Maintenance Garage, where expert mechanics can repair them. Look how many buses are being worked on at the same time. This bus is having a wheel changed. And here's another bus driving into the garage. It drives in and parks over a big hole in the floor called the pit. If there's something wrong underneath the bus, a mechanic can go down into the pit and fix anything while standing underneath. Or they can use a giant hydraulic lift to lift it up and make it even taller. When everything's fixed on the bus, it's time to leave the garage and go back out onto the road to take more passengers where they need to go. Some of my mechanical friends are trying to get back to Gecko's garage today, so I think we should go and pick them up on this amazing Arriva bus. Buses are fantastic vehicles. They carry lots of passengers around town and take people to places they need to go. Buses have lots of space inside to fit as many people on as possible. What shape is this bus? Yes, it's a rectangle. Look how many seats are in here. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight seats! Wow! Thirty-eight seats! Wow! And when the seats are full, the bus can go anywhere it wants. Thirty-eight seats! Wow! And when the seats are full, the bus can go anywhere it wants. Thirty-eight seats! Wow! And when the seats are full, the bus can go anywhere it wants. Thirty-eight seats! Wow! And when the seats are full, the bus can go anywhere it wants. Thirty-eight seats! Wow! And when the seats are full, the bus can go anywhere it wants. Thirty-eight seats! Wow! And when the seats are full, the bus can go anywhere it wants. Thirty-eight seats! Wow! And when the seats are full, the bus can go anywhere it wants. Thirty-eight and these grab handles too, to make sure you don't fall over when the bus stops. This is Mary, and she's the driver of this bus. Mary's just going round the bus to do all of her safety checks before going out on the road. What shape are the wheels on the bus? Yes, they're a circle. This bus is special because it runs on electricity. That means it doesn't have to be filled with petrol or diesel. But instead, it can be plugged in and charged. It's got a big battery that stores all of the electricity up on the roof. Hi Gecko, do you want to come and see where I drive my bus? Yes, please. Mary sits in a place called the cab, and to get into the driving seat, she opens this door and climbs inside. Mary can then press this button to open and close the electric doors. There's lots of other buttons and controls for Mary to press in here too. 
To start the bus, Mary presses this button. I think it's time we went and picked up the mechanicals. Mary, can I buy a ticket, please? To buy a ticket, passengers give the correct money to the driver and she prints them a ticket. Mary can change the sign on the front to tell people where the bus is going. Hooray! We're off to my garage. Don't worry, mechanicals. We're coming for you. The bell on the bus goes ding, ding, ding. Ding, ding, ding. Ding, ding, ding. The bell on the bus goes ding, ding, ding. All day long. The lights on the bus go flash, flash, flash. Flash, flash, flash. Flash, flash, flash. The lights on the bus go flash, flash, flash. All day long. The tickets on the bus go print, print, print. Print, print, print. Print, print, print. The tickets on the bus go print, print, print. All day long. The wipers on the bus go swish, swish, swish. Swish, swish, swish. Swish, swish, swish. The wipers on the bus go swish, swish, swish. All day long. Oh, hey there. The horn on the bus goes beep, beep, beep. Beep, beep, beep. Beep, beep, beep. The horn on the bus goes beep, beep, beep. All day long. Oh, ho. The doors on the bus go open and close. Open and close. Open and close. The doors on the bus go open and close. All day day long Hello Red Mechanical I hope we didn't keep you waiting there too long Come on board, take a seat The thing I love best about travelling around on a bus is looking out of the big windows and spotting things there's lots of different shaped road signs around. This one is square. This one is a circle. And this one is a triangle. This one's very important because it tells vehicles to slow down because there might be children around. Hello, Blue Mechanical. We've had to stop at a traffic light because it's on red. There's three different traffic light colours. Red, amber and green. The red light means stop. The amber light means the signal is about to change. And green means go, go, go. This bus is very smooth and very quiet because it runs on electricity. That means it's even better for the environment than other buses. It's green mechanical. Hello. Right, I think that's everyone now. Let's head back to the garage. Can you remember all of the shapes we've learnt today? Rectangle Circle Square And Triangle It's nice to be driving along with my old friend Mr T. Gecko, I've got something amazing to show you today. I've been really busy creating a brand new ice cream factory. Wow, that sounds so cool. Can we go and have a look? Yeah, I've already got your friends, the mechanicals, there now, setting everything up for us. What? You've left the mechanicals on their own? In an ice cream factory? Uh-oh, that spells trouble.
Let's hope there's no more mechanical mischief today. Now that the factory's squeaky clean again, please can you show me around? I think the best way for me to show you how my ice cream factory works, Gecko, is to make a brand new ice cream flavour. What do you think? I think that sounds delicious. But first, we need to put our protective clothes on. Let's get ice cream making. First, Mr. T needs to make a special milk mix in this really big tank. He adds five bags of milk powder to some water. One, two, three, four, five. He gives it a stir with his big paddle to make sure it's mixing just fine. Then he adds sugar for sweetness and a few more secret ingredients. We're going to make a special gecko ice cream. So Mr. T adds some bright green lime flavour. To make the mix into ice cream, you have to make it really, really cold so that it freezes. The mix gets moved from this big tank into the freezing machine. So Gecko, come on, let's do it. Let's make some lovely ice cream for you. But what are we going to make, Mr. T? We're going to make a lovely Gecko's Green ice cream dream just for you. So first of all, Gecko, what we do is we get the machine and we open it there and we get lots of ice cream coming out. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Wow, look at the ice cream all coming out. Look at it swirling around, Gecko. It is absolutely delicious. Ooh, look at the colour of that. Gecko, look at this. It's a lovely lime green flavour just for you. My favourite colour's green. Wow, there's loads in there. Well, Gecko, you have got an appetite, haven't you? So, Gecko, first of all, on your lovely ice cream, we are going to put on some blue bubblegum sauce. And the second sauce that we're going to put on Gecko is going to be some lovely, lovely strawberry sauce. Wow. And then, after that, because it's a special green ice cream just for you, we are going to put lots of these lovely green crunch crystals all over. I'm sure you're going to enjoy this one, Gecko. And we're going to be healthy and put some lovely fruit on which is some of these nice green kiwis. Ooh, I love kiwi fruit. Kiwi is the best. And always remember, kids, make sure you have plenty of fruit. There. Doesn't that look amazing, Gecko? And then we got some lovely, lovely geckos. Wow. We'll get some of these lovely spanner cookies. Wow, look at them. We'll pop them in there. I think this is going to be amazing, this ice cream. Hi, Gecko. Hello, Mr. T. Thanks for coming. So what's the plan? Well, I think it's about time that my friend Vicky the Ice Cream Van had a treat of her own. She's always so busy serving yummy ice cream treats to other people that I thought it was about time someone made a treat for her. What a lovely idea, Gecko. Let's make Vicky the biggest, best ice cream ever. Hop in. So, Gecko, we've got lots of amazing ice cream in my machine at the back. But to make it really special, I think we need to find some treats to put on top. Great idea, Mr. T. Sounds like we've got ourselves a treasure hunt. Hey, look, Mr. T. What's that over there? I think I see a treat box. Open it, Mr. T. 
Let's see what's inside. It's two giant bags of sweets. These are gonna add lots of color to Vicky's ice cream treat and they'll be nice and chewy too. Amazing. Let's see what else we can find. Look, Gecko, there's another treat box here. Send it down the slide, Mr. T. I wonder what it is. Hooray! It's a big box of waffles. Should we get back in the van and find some more treat boxes? So, Gecko, it's time to put some music on. Let's see if my old friends at the RNLI have seen anything. Oh, hi, Andy. You haven't seen any treat boxes round here, have you? As a matter of fact, they have. Have a look on deck. Hey, Gecko, I found one. Let's see what's inside. It's a huge bottle of my favourite sauce. Good job, Mr T. I wonder if there's any treasure around that pirate ship over there. Let's take a look in the treasure chest. We've found treasure. It's another treat box. Wow, it's a bag of giant marshmallows. Wow, Vicky will love them. Hey look, we're just passing Claremont Farm. Let's pop in and see if Farmer Andy has seen any treat boxes. Gecko, good to see you again. Are you looking for a treat box? Yes, we are. Go and have a look in my tractor. We found another treat box. It's a giant chocolate bar. Wow, that's the biggest chocolate bar I've ever seen. I think that should be enough treats to make Vicky the most amazing ice cream creation. Let's go make it. To make the perfect ice cream creation for Vicky, we need the perfect ice cream cone. And I've got just the thing. That is brilliant. Let's get cracking.
And now I think there should be something healthy in there as well. Remember them strawberries that we got from Claremont Farm? And finally, some chocolates. Harry missed the tea. I think she's on her way. Hello, Vicky. Lovely to see you. Me and my friend Mr T have a big surprise for you. I decided that it's about time someone made a treat just for you. After all of the amazing treats you always give to other people. So we decided to make you Vicky's treasured treat served in the perfect ice cream cone. Here you go, Vicky, just to say thank you. Did you see how happy that ice cream surprise made her, Gecko? I've never seen her so happy. That's given me an idea. Maybe we should go and give some treats to more people who deserve them. So who's ready for some free ice creams, guys? Now let's serve the amazing crew of the RNLI lifeboat. Well, guys, you lot deserve a free ice cream, so there you go. There's plenty of yummy ice cream for the amazing volunteers who work in charity shops. They raise money for good causes. There we are, Paula. Thank you very much for being such a lovely person to the community. You enjoy that, my love, and there's one there for your colleague as well, yeah? Okay then, no problem at all. Enjoy. Farmer Andy works really hard down on the farm. It's time he had a break and some yummy ice cream, all topped off with his special strawberries. If you love this video, tap here so you're the first to know about my latest videos. Thanks for watching. Bye.